the, the treated wood that we uh, use in New Zealand is, is uh, treated with a range of different chemicals uh, and they all have uh, different levels of toxicity associated with them. So it's important that people keep that in mind uh, when they're handling the wood, using it, or when it's in, in place in, in the finished product. Uh, the different types of chemicals that are used for treating wood um, all vary in their toxicity to people and, and their environmental hazards and so on. Um, uh, and so uh, that you need to bear that in mind when, when choosing uh, which types of uh, timber, uh, treated timber to use um, and, and where you're going to use them and how you're going to use them. Yes, the, the different types of uh, uh, treated timber that we use include um, uh, copper chrome arsenic treated wood, uh, which is commonly known as CCA. Um, that uh, uses uh, all three of the chemical uh, metals there, copper chromium and arsenic, uh, all have particular hazards associated with them. Uh, chromium and arsenic are human carcinogens um, in uh, small amounts. Um, uh, copper is uh, mainly of concern as a, a marine uh, pollutant. Um, we also have uh, uh, other copper-based preservatives, um, uh, such as the copper azoles, um, uh, and then uh, there are um, uh, organic uh, uh, preservatives, uh, again the azoles and, and uh, uh, that group of compounds. Um, they're generally less toxic, um, but they are applied using solvents, uh, and so the, the solvents uh, can produce a hazard, particularly when the, when the timber is being used uh, at, at the construction stage. When, when you're using the timber, um, uh, the main uh, precaution to take for, for all of the different types of timber is, is to uh, um, prevent a, a skin contact. Um, it's advisable to use um, gloves, protective clothing, and so on. Um, if you've got, uh, if you if you're involved in a lot of uh, handling of the timber, um, the dust that's produced uh, when when it's being cut and so on that that can be a risk. Um, and with the solvent-based preservatives, it's important to have um, uh, ventilation as well uh, to use them out in the open rather than in a confined space. Um, disposal of the timber is, is well, timber waste is another um, issue. Uh, generally, you should not burn treated timber, uh, and most regional councils around the country actually prohibit the burning of uh, treated timber. Uh, in most cases, it needs to be disposed of to landfill. Uh, when, when, when people are looking at, at buying timber, um, they they should be uh, getting information on on the different hazards um, and the handling precautions that the uh, uh, suppliers recommend. Um, most uh, retailers do have that information available um, for you. Uh, you just have to ask for it. Um, but th you need to think about uh, in particular where it's being used. Um, so timber that's going to be used uh, in, in or near a marine environment, um, it would be preferable not to use copper-based um, wood. Uh, if you're um, uh, use, planning to use the timber, say, for a deck or situations where there could be a lot of uh, skin contact um, uh, once it's in place, um, then uh, it's, it's best not to go for um, CCA-treated timber. Um, use one of the other copper-based alternatives instead.